What's up guys, Viper FPV here, and today I have the White Noise Synergy F4 all-in-one flight controller. This recently came in the July drone drop that I did an unboxing of a week ago, and I just wanted to kind of do an overview of it, kind of go over all the pins, kind of go over what this flight controller, what its purpose is for, and some of the features it has. So let's go ahead and go over what it comes with first. Um, it comes with this right here, it comes with some gummies and a 4.1 ESC header, two of them. Also comes with this little adapter for a, um, what is it, a Nano Crossfire, not the Crossfire, the TBS Nano or the, um, what is the other one, Pro 32 Unify. Uh, so that you can go ahead and put that right, right here and then you can directly mount, let's see here, I can line that up here. So you pretty much can directly mount your VTX right there and then still use the pins and everything that it has broken out for you, um, which is really nice. So. Really, the main purpose of this flight controller is to have something real compact where you can fit your receiver, like your Fly Sky, uh, Free Sky receiver, or your TBS um, Unify, like the full size right here. Or if you have like the Nano or the uh, Pro 32 version, you just use this little adapter, put it there, and you're good to go. Um, so some features of this uh, flight controller: it does have built-in Betaflight OSD, like they all do. Um, it also does have um, built-in camera control. We also do have, um, it does accept uh, 2 to 6S voltage, uh, max of 28 volts. Uh, it does use the MPU 6000 gyro, which most of all of them have been using since Betaflight 4.0 went over to not support uh, 32K gyros anymore. Or the 32, 32K bitrate of how it's handling processing information. We also have um, 128 megabytes of flash for anybody who likes to use black box. Um, and then we also have... Um, Let's see, this is a 30 by 30, so it's a standard mounting of a flight controller. It's not the 20 by 20, it's a standard size. Um, it does weigh 7.5 grams. It does have a filtered 5 volt output for your video. And uh, the dimensions is 37 by 37 millimeters. So pretty much all standard of everything we have pre-existing with beta flight boards. Now, um, kind of going over the really special features that this thing has. Um, we have our mounting, like we, I said before, the receiver and the TBS Unify. Um, it does have um, addressable LEDs as well. It does have a built-in Tiny's LED reel pit, which you can go ahead and either use it or not. And um, what you're going to ahead and go ahead and do is you'll wire it. I think it's on the other side here. It's on this other side. We'll get to that when we go over the overview of the pins. Um, but you're able to pretty much set up your VTX where you can switch it on or off via a switch, which is really handy if you're using this for a race. Um, so if you crash out, you can go ahead and switch off the VTX. You don't have to worry about transmitting and burning out your VTX or overheating it. All right, so we're on the looking at like the bottom. I guess you can consider this the bottom of the board. And uh, right here we have our inverter. We have an inverted, and we also have our um, receiver power selector as well. Um, either we can pick 5 volts or 3 volts, and you just bridge one of these two pads here or that those two pads for 3 volts or 5 volts. So if you're using Spectrum or um, FlySky or FreeSky. And then you also on this side we have our inversion. So a lot of these F4 processors you either have to invert the signal or not. And uh, so you can decide there if you want to have it inverted or not on the S bus pad. And then also we have here on the side we have our VTX remote control. Uh, where we can control if you want to have it forced off, um, we can have it on a switch, or we can have it always on. So that would be deciding on how you um, bridge these pads over here. So that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, we also have this right here, which is the VTX Smart Audio Source. So either you can use the flight controller as the source for smart audio, like OSD and Lua scripts, or if you have like a TBS Nano, which has like the, if you use the Unify, uh, Evo, where it controls everything, you can also tell it that as well right here by bridging these two pads, which how you want to have it set up. Now, that's pretty much it for this side of the board. Um, you can kind of see all the, we have like the OSD chip there. We have a really nice big, uh, is this a capacitor? Not a capacitor, but a um, thing for your OSD to clean up the video signals in the FPV feed, if that is so be it. We also have on this side, let's go ahead and flip it over and kind of go over these pins. So right here, let me go ahead and do it this way so it's kind of like that. All right, so 
looking at this this way, we have our hookups for our receiver. So if you want to directly mount your receiver using the Crossfire Nano or using the uh, FreeSky uh, one, you can even use a fl you can use any receiver with this one. It just depends on how it's wired and how it looks. Um, like the Nano and also the FlySky will go ahead and directly mount on top of this with some pin headers. Uh, so then you can go ahead and just directly mount it there. But if you're using a FlySky, you can just wire to get some wire or whatever. Or maybe if you're using a uh, FreeSky one that's not like the, the XM Plus or the, um, what is that? Like say if you're using an RXSR or something like that, you can go ahead and just use some wire. You don't have to be exact, but you won't be able to take advantage of the space savings of this flight controller. Um, then over here we have our TBS Unify Pro, and also we can use our adapter like we went over before. Um, we also have our 4-in-1 pin header right here, so we can go ahead and use a 4-in-1 ESC, which is great. Then over here on the top, we have our minus and plus for our buzzer. Then we have our camera controls up here, camera controls there, voltage. Uh, you can either use battery voltage, how you're going to select it would be on the other side of the, um, what's it call it? Uh, I'm sorry, that is not voltage, that is camera in. And then we have our 5 volt, and then we also have our ground. Right here we have another jumper, it's either um, the boot pins right here, so if you want to boot it or flash the flight controller. And then we also have a, um, a 5 volt in ground as well. So this is the boot little thing you push in, and this is the 5 volt in ground for whatever you might need it for, maybe for like LEDs or something like that. And then over here on the bottom we have um, ground, 5 volts, and a data out. So that might be for like maybe GPS I'm assuming. If I'm wrong let me know down in the comments. And then we also have a receive three right there. So if you are saying like, hooking up an external receiver that doesn't like look at this one, you can either use those pads too if you want, or you can just hook it up to receive three. It's up to you. And then on this side we have data out as well, five volt and ground. So I'm I'm really thinking that those two probably are something to do with GPS possibly. I have not wired up a GPS quad yet, but I am working on doing that for my seven inch build. I am actually do have a video out already on it. Um, so I'm continuing that build soon actually. Anyway. But um, looking here on this side, uh, we have like our standard uh, receiver, ground 3.3 volts, 5 volts, receive 3 or transmit 3. So this will be either 3.3 3 .3 volts or 5 volts depending on how you bridge the pads on the other side. And then also over here, this little pad up there, we have our receive smart audio, which is more like um, like Fly Free Sky's um, protocol where it can tell tele send telemetry. Uh, or get telemetry data from the flight controller to your radio. But that should be it for the uh, White Noise FPV Synergy F4. Um, I will leave a link down below to an affiliate link if you want to go ahead and appreciate the channel. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and use that link. Um, anybody else, if you have any questions about this flight controller, leave a comment down below. I am happy to answer everybody's questions and hopefully get everybody flying. But this has been fun, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace.